Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Diablo Neverwinter. Or not Diablo, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, guys. I do apologize. I'm thinking of dragons here because somebody summoned uh, or created a pinata of some way that uh, we can sit here and we can beat on. And uh, cooldown sucks, yeah. I mean, he, he's just summoning a lot of them. When we go over them, though, we get these little items off of it. I've gotten fireworks, I've gotten sorbets, caprice, uh, squash soup. It's just really kind of cool. I mean, we're killing them pretty quickly, but I like it. I mean, that's fun to do, and it's, uh, you know, it's free loot, and he's just doing it for everybody here. I don't know how you get them or, uh, you know, why he's doing it right here in this one spot. Maybe he's just doing it to uh, to share. He said there's even more to come, so we're going to sit here and we'll wait and uh, kill a few more of these things, and I'll show you guys right here. Uh, the Caprice uh, grants you more deflect chance and max hit points. That's not too bad. Small party popper. Marks a loud pop and shoots an array of colors. Let's uh, let's go ahead and use that. Welcome. To the <laughs> it's kind of the cool. Gods. I like it. And we got that for free as well. I'll go ahead and save a few so we can show the other guys when they get over here. We got the uh, watermelon sorbet. Cool watermelon sorbet grants you 10% more power and recovery. That's not too bad. Oh, and there it is right there, guys. Let's go back and and kill another one of these things. <laughs> So have you guys seen this before? Have you seen a lot of these pinatas, or is this the first time? Man, first time for me. I'm not never seen it either. He's up here by the uh, the shrine. If you want to check it out, by Sergeant Knox. He's just going to be casting them over and over again for you know for however long that actually lasts. I'm running up there as quick as I can. I don't see you yet, Rhino. Are you in the uh, stronghold? Well, no, that would be why. I'm I'm standing over here with AC watching them. Ah. Uh, Mainly a pinata. Yeah, I think that might, because it sounds something like they were given away during the uh, Twilight Tour Festival thing. Because there was this thing that you were supposed to be able to let loose that was going to give out party favors to everybody surrounding you. Oh, well, that's cool. I mean, I guess that's why he came over here then, because he knows that... It's going to help everybody out. Why not come to a place where there's a lot of people standing? Yeah. More coming. Yeah, so he's going to do some more here. Takes about, what, 45 seconds, maybe 50 seconds before he casts the next one. So it's a little slow, but if you had two or even three people casting that, oh, did you get one of those party poppers? I got a firework. Oh, that's cool. I think I did get a firework, though. I didn't see it in there. Oh, there they are right there. Let's go ahead and use one of those. Party popper! <laughs> oh wait, he's got another thing out. And you see that our little minions, our little uh, helpers, companions, they actually do uh, end up fighting this with us. So. Yeah, see the, 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 the dwarf in front of me? That's the Ed Bar Shield Maiden. Oh, is that that's what, what he's is. using? Yeah, that's what she is. So that's she's an axe. Companion. Yeah, she's an axe wielding shield companion. Oh, there you go, man. What, what do you think? Oh, that's crazy. You, you just hit it? Yeah, you yeah. Just, just beat on it. But you gotta pick these things up rather quickly. It does seem like the uh, loot that falls on the floor disappears uh, pretty rather quick. quickly. Yeah. yeah. But all you gotta do is walk over. You don't have to actually uh, enter the button to, uh, to pick it up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fireworks, guys. <laughs> that's cool. Let's go ahead and use some more fireworks. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I, I like it. It's just kind of uh, a fun little thing to do. You're as good as new. Well, <laughs> I guess it looks caprice and some soup. Yeah, yeah. it has some pretty good stats bang. on it. I don't know. Do you have to click on that to, to eat it, or do you put that in like a food slot where your guy uh, just naturally eat food on his own? I'm not sure how that works. I've never seen food actually. I actually I saw something online this earlier today. It's something about food and the whole guild aspect of it too. So I, that's something new to me. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can just use it. I think it's kind of like a just an item. Just put it like in your hot bar. Or just double click it. Or yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, the food thing, like you were saying, there is an aspect to that for the guild, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be something different, right? I mean, you might need a certain amount of food to uh, have a certain amount of guards or something. I mean, I'm just spitballing here because I have no clue whatsoever. Yeah, but. I bet that's what it has to do. It has to do with feeding the NPCs. 
Yeah. Well, it also said something about also having an aspect for a PvP Welcome aspect too, to the so of the and having boosts and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure exactly what it does. Because there's a, so many different boons and stuff like that that we get added advantage to that being in the guild. That so a lot more things are going to open up to us that, like like I said, I have no clue about yet. <laughs> right. And we're just not uh, really high enough level to experiment with a lot of that stuff. But we're still going to be playing around with it. We're still going to be trying to do some of those uh, events. We tried one, which was to uh, defend Invoke a certain your area, patron deity, and, and you we shall got be really rewarded. close. I mean, we got down to what, like a minute and a half before. Uh, we kind of just got off too much to the side, and we lost that one, the first one that we were doing over by the lumber mill. Yeah. yeah. So I think with everybody that we have, plus we have two more companions that we didn't have at that time, uh, I think we'd be able to do that one just fine. But some of the other ones are pretty difficult. That that second one we tried, that was tough. That was, that was nuts. Yeah, it was. Those monsters are going to be really hard to expect for us, I think, for a little while until we get some more levels on us. Right. And I don't even know what you get out of those. I mean, the, the loot that you might get out of that uh, might just be just that. It might just be loot. It might just be gold coins or something along those lines. I don't know if you uh, you know open up areas that way. It seems like you might be able to. At least maybe what they do is when you defeat those big boss guys, it could clear the area of all the, the uh, you know, bad NPCs for a short amount of time, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, and definitely does give us a, actually like some better gear as well. I was reading up on that. It does actually drop better armor, armor and weapons and stuff like that than you normally get out in a normal questing world. Oh, really? Because it's uh, you know a guild thing. Yeah, it's because it's a special thing. So you're gonna get better equipment that way as well. <laughs> More coming, share children. <laughs> <laughs> Are the items that fall on the ground for everybody, or are they just for uh, you in, in particular? Because I don't no, want to be looting them if, if it's for the, everybody. From the pinata? Yeah. No, yeah, they're just free, free grab. First come, first serve kind of thing. My oh, yeah, so it is? Lost yeah, he's just telling you to share because he's seen, you, he's seen that you're standing around him a little more. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's another one. I'll let you guys take that one on then. <laughs> oh, look at that. I don't even have to hit it. The stuff falls on the ground anyways. Is your shield made up here doing all the work for you? That's not my shield made. I think it's oh, his. It's yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, I've got a I've got another control wizard. That's what I've got. Uh do you got a control wizard? Yep. Ralph Vor Vallis. What do you think of your wizard so far? Do you like him? Yeah, I like him. He's okay. So gotta yeah, get him, gotta get him some pants. He's not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta level this guy up too eventually and uh, send him off on his first little task. Uh, but we haven't done that yet. We've uh, kind of been a little distracted by this guy because it is just uh, a cool little thing that I have not seen before. So I'm definitely enjoying the game. How much effort and work they have put into it to make this thing just uh, you know really come alive. So I'm looking forward to where we can go with our guild and what the future quest will do, plus the storyline. You guys uh, have all read the books, right? I mean, you guys have read a lot of lore in this. I have, actually, and I was actually playing around the other day, and I noticed somebody downstairs that I forgot to mention to uh, Hydros, somebody I found just kind of standing around in the world as a character from the book series. That's funny. Um, yeah, I was kind of shocked to see him. Jarlaxle Bonre uh, from the Bonre family, the leader of the uh, Brigand de Arth, is sitting down there at the exit gates on the, what is it, on the northeast side over there, I think it is, or the south side where his directionist is. But, yeah, he's part of the, the, uh, the quest line for the Icewind Dell area. But you have to be a level 60 to, be to, to interact with that be level, <laughs> that area. Oh yeah, I'm sure uh, Hydros would love that. I mean, he's he's huge into the lore. He used to do the uh, the old D and Ds even further back than I used to do them. So I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna be all up you know, for for checking that guy out. Yeah, it looks just like I would have imagined him too. The big brimmed hat, bald, <laughs> drow elf, you know. Yeah. But guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. I just kind of wanted to do a quick video to show you guys the pinata in case you've never seen one. Uh, this is what they look like, and it's rather cool. I like it a lot.
And the fact that he's doing that over here is uh, just a good sign that the community is really nice here and that they're willing to give to the newbies. I mean, he could have done that anywhere, but he chose to do that over here. So, I mean, that's... What? He could have just, just he could have just thrown them on the ground and not give them to anybody because there's a way to do that. Oh really? Yeah, you can just throw your your gear on the on the ground and nobody can get it. And just throws it into the void. What is that? You would See, do well that would suck. Yeah, but again, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and we will catch you all next time. Subscribe.